So if you're doing this the wrong way, some people are going to tell you to F off and some people are going to say it's illegal what you're doing. But if you follow the instructions of this video, you are going to get messages saying it's great. Call me. I would love to work with you. So what am I talking about? I'm going to show you how to rent out other people's properties and start your own rental business without property without any money into any properties at all. So follow this exactly. I'm not going to hold anything back. We have a group and we have ways to get your questions answered. So make sure you stay to the end. So the first thing you want to do is you wanna make sure you know where people are searching for vacation rentals so you don't waste your time and the efforts. So you want to search Google Trends. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put in vacation rentals. What we're going to do is we're going to see what states and cities are trending for vacation rentals over a certain period of time. So we search past day, as you can see, and we see Oregon is on here. Make sure you're looking for the common denominator states and we're going to search seven days. OK, like the ring. Let's see. We still have Oregon on here. We have a couple of the other states on there as well still. So you want to write those down. Make sure you pause this and write those down. Then we're going to go over 30 days. And the reason is because sometimes there's events in some of these cities and that's why they get a spike of search volume. We don't want it to be temporary. We want it to be over time. So we still have Oregon, West Virginia and a couple of those. We're going to pick Oregon, though. So we come over here to Zillow. Why? Because these are people that already have rentals for rent. OK, but they might not have the ability to rent it out. Just putting it on here doesn't guarantee anything. So what you want to do is I put Portland, Oregon, because that's the uh, you know main place, main city I know about. You want to make sure this is checked for rent. OK, you want to make sure it says home type houses, townhouses, entire place. OK, because you get more money um, on places like Airbnb and Verbo and stuff like that. If it's entire place, then you want to search, uh, check right here. You want to check off uh, 90 days. It's been on Zillow 90 days. Why do we want that? Because that means they're having trouble renting it out. The more desperate they are, the more uh, likely they'll agree to our proposition. And we wanted to be fully furnished because we're not trying to spend any money on somebody else's property. See, I, I told you I was going to deliver. So go ahead and do a Jackie Chan sidekick to the like button. All right. So check this out. As you can see, we have a lot to choose from. Three bedroom, three bath. Uh, you want to make sure they're they're, you know, decent uh looking we want to make sure they're in good areas and stuff like that and inside the copy and paste rentals course found in the pinned uh comments we show you guys exactly how to you know what i'm saying calculate how much you'll be earning but i'm going to show you a little bit of that today so don't worry i'm not going to hold that back from you okay so as you can see you got a lot to choose from and the good thing about this is all you have to do is repost this uh once you have their permission and optimize it how we teach you guys to optimize it uh for example if these uh, addresses right here are near some type of landmark or some type of popular place, theme park or something like that, look what they have. Uh, these people, uh, you know, you know, they name their listings boring stuff on Airbnb. Right. So you want to make sure that you have something catchy near some type of landmark or something like that. So once you chosen some, what you want to do is we're going to. Uh, start reaching out on Airbnb. Check this out. We say, good morning. Is is your listing still live? So that's if you're going on Airbnb itself and you're searching for listings that haven't been rented out in a while. So that's one method. This will be the script for that as well. It says, I noticed that nobody has booked since October 2023. 20, uh, and, and you know, you're going to put the data, whatever they have on there. It's also available for the next a uh, few months, I believe we can get a few people to book with you at 30 days at a time. Why do we say that? Because if they're fully booked at full capacity, that means they're constantly making money. OK, so it says first, I need permission to show them your photos to get them to agree to your prices. So this is the first method. That's what we were basically doing over here with these guys. OK, so this is if you want to do it without going on Zillow or whatever. Sorry, I didn't show you guys that in order. So this is what we were doing. Instead of going to Zillow, we were literally literally just searching for high price Airbnbs that we can get a good, good, good cut from. They're already optimized. They're already up, but they're not getting uh, bookings for some reason. And so what we do is we use our techniques that we teach in the copy and paste rentals course found in a pinned comment. 
And we find these Airbnbs that are nice looking, but they're not getting rented out. And we send them this message, but only if we know we can get it booked to full capacity. So for example, like I said, we'll search the areas of these Airbnbs, see if they're near some type of landmark or something like that. See if it's some Google keyword uh, uh, searches for that. And then we'll re-optimize the listing. We'll create a whole new profile and listing and everything like that. And within a couple of days, they start getting booked full up. It's like magic almost. Okay. Okay. And we get a percentage of that. Now, now that we're all caught up. So that was the script for the Airbnb method. Okay. So let me put this over here so it doesn't confuse you. The next one, this one is if uh, you want to start over here with Zillow, let's say that you haven't, you know, really worked out how to do the Airbnb method like I just showed you. So what you would do is you will find people on here. It's pretty much the same principle. They have their stuff on here for a while and nobody's rented it out yet or something like that. So as you can see, we got it for 90 days. So a lot of these haven't been, you know, checked out <laughs> and they've been on here for 90 days, some of them. This one slipped through. This one is 12 days ago. So I wouldn't mess with anything like that. Uh, you want it to be over 60 days. This one is 49 days. I mean, you can try it. It, it won't hurt, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to message them and you're pretty much going to say the exact same thing. I found your listing on Zillow um, and I have people that would rent it out, but I can have a booked year round full capacity, at least 85% capacity. Um, you know, you don't want to overdo it, right? At least 85 percent capacity. And you know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay me anything up front or something like that. Okay. So that's the Zillow method. So once they respond back, they're going to say, well, what do you need? Well, the good thing is these places are already furnished. If you put in, uh, you know, what we told you to put in up here in the filters, they're already furnished. So you don't need anything. You can literally take the the listings that's on here, the information and all of that extra stuff, and then go and create a brand new Airbnb and Verbo account and home away or home stay away or whatever you call it. Okay. And make an account using their images and everything like that with their permission. Right. So guess what? Within 24 hours, you're going to start getting people trying to book. If you optimize these listings properly and you calculate the price, right? Like how I show you to. Okay. So make sure you paying attention to make sure you writing this stuff down. So let's say that you um, are like some people and you don't feel like going through Zillow, right? You like to like bulk things so it doesn't take all of your time. Well, we have a software over here. And what we do is we go to this part right here called home, uh, Scrape Homeowners. Okay. So when we scrape the homeowners, okay. All right. So one, I have to unlock this feature. So once we scrape the homeowners, basically, see, I got all the credits in the world, but I still have issues and bugs with this. That's crazy. Anyway, don't worry about the bugs in the software. All I got to do is message them. So when you scrape the homeowners, what's going to homeowners, what's going to happen is they're going to send you a file It's going to have their email address. And the majority of them is going to have their phone numbers. And you're just going to send out the message and be like, hey, do you have any properties for rent? If so, I can get it booked up full capacity, blah, 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 blah. And you don't have to pay me anything up front. Just make sure it's furnished. I'll even get the key lock, you know, so you don't have to get up in the middle of the night and let people in. I'll take care of the, uh, you know, the, you know, house cleaning and all of that extra stuff. Boom, blah, blah, blah. Let's say you don't want to use this software there. You're cheap and you don't want to spend any money. Well, guess what? You can come over here to Facebook. Over here on Facebook, you can type in uh, Portland homeowners. Let's see if that's a group. I'm doing this off the cuff, guys. Homeowners. Are there any homeowners in Portland? Okay, let's see. All right, so we got Oregon, Northwest Oregon contractors and homeowners. Are we going to click on groups? Yeah, man. Go ahead and do a, a, a G Kundo Bruce Lee, you know, sidekick to the share button and share this wherever you can. So as you can see, there's some homeowner groups. You just want to join a homeowner group and you'll make that post and let them know, hey, without any money up front, without, you know, me charging or anything like I can make you a lot of money on your properties, multiple properties. Message me. Basically, that's all you have to say. I was going to make you a script, but you don't even have to. <laughs> I don't even need to make you a script. OK, guys. So the whole point is what you want to do is you want to do the calculations. You want to see, OK, I'm going to charge them, you know, maybe five to 10 percent. Think about it, because some of them already have 
uh, you know, Airbnb managers and, and uh, co-hosts and stuff. Like sometimes when we message them, it's not the actual owner themselves. They already have like a, a manager and stuff. So even the managers will work with you if they're not getting lists. Because remember, they're obligated. They made a promise to the homeowner that they were going to get the property rented out on Airbnb and they're not doing that. So even if it's one of them that answers a middleman, you know what I'm saying? They'll still work with you. They'll say, hey, well, what do you got that can get us booked and stuff? So look, I'm telling you guys, everything not holding anything back, guys. Okay, so, but what I want to show you is we do have a private community, uh, copy and paste rentals that we just started and it's active. We got people in there that's already starting this, uh, trying to get results and everything. Uh, if you go to my channel, you'll see uh, one of my top students, Keith, he coached Keith now, right? He made over $140,000 in the first 90 days of starting his party bus rental business. And now he's a coach and very successful. And we got a lot of stories like that. I want you guys to go to the first pin comment. We're looking for at least another 10 people today so that we can help. Let me help you start up one of these rental businesses without having to put in a, a lot of money to anything. For your training for a lot of these missions, all you have to do is start the partnerships how I tell you to, use the scripts I tell you to. You don't even have to run any paid traffic or do any technical SEO if you don't want to. But we have all the training and we have an engaging community that we're building currently is brand new. Uh, and you guys can join that. Okay. So it's only 97 in the first pin comment right now. It will be going up. I want you to go to the first pin comment and join that. Love you guys.